sequels mm. and games. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. back in the day, there was a game called Legend of Zelda. Long time ago. Long time ago. Um, and the sequel, which is, is, is like the black sheep of the family. Right, yeah, okay. But yeah, I, I love about. it. It's a side-scroller platformer kind of action game. Mm-hmm. And then they went back to the top down with the Link to the Past. And then, you know, after a few years, then they made the 3D Ocarina of Time. And since then, it's kind of been the same game. But what I'm saying is that it used to be, back in the day, Mario 1, 2, and 3 are all completely different games. Like, Mm -hmm. they they feel differently. They play differently. Same thing with the Zelda games. They feel and play differently. Nowadays, like... With Assassin's Creed 2, 3, 4, 2.5, 2.7, 2.8, it's well, all there's, there's no difference, the really. same yeah, game. Structurally. They'll change some tweaks here and there. Mm. Grand, even the Grand Theft Auto games, it's the same game. So are they just... And that's with the, a lot of games. Dishonored 2 was just Dishonored DLC that was really long. Yeah. That's not a bad thing. They don't know. No. But that's my point is that they don't make sequels to games different anymore. So you're saying you would like to see completely unique experiences every time. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to think of an example of a game that would be a a very different experience from one to the to the other. That's a that's a good question. Because I mean, like, I don't I haven't played the Yakuza games, but No, that's a they're very much they iterative. Are, they're they are they are there is a core concept from the first one and they've basically just built it built onto it every okay. every step of the way. But so, but it's still the same game though, kind of. Kind of like Assassin's Creed though. <clears throat> uh but the gameplay itself has gotten so much better every single game. So but you could say that about Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, well, I you do you feel like that's necessarily a negative? It's not. No, because I, I love I love just Assassin's Creed Black Flag the best and that was like the sixth one that came out or something. Yeah, know? well, well, you know, when you mentioned this, um, the immediately what I thought of was that video game sequels are kind of the only good sequels out there. Like Whenever a beloved comic book gets a new chapter in it, usually people don't like it very much. It doesn't quite capture the same je ne sais quoi. Or a new, a sequel to a movie. Rarely. Ooh, mm, rarely. No. Empire Strikes Back, Dark Knight, Those are Captain still America, rare, Civil or rare War. Rare Suit Winter Soldier. And Those are still rare exceptions. It, it's a rare exception. It's a but rare video sh- games tend to have really good sequels. Yes. Usually the sequel is better than the original. Yes, yes. Because they take a concept and they update it for a new system. You know, film is film. You know, I mean, a lot of people would argue, but film is film, video game consoles keep upgrading. It's a completely different... Well, you know. well, but I would say, to, take, to go back to the Yakuza example, the story writing has gotten better in mm-hmm. every single one of the games. Like this last game, literally, I almost cried during. I've cried in games. Um, I'm not. I'm not afraid so, to say. So, but Yakuza One, I didn't get a drop out of me. That'll, that'll be a top. But anyway, instead, I was that'll be like, a top Arr. five uh, games you cried at. So oh, I think we probably end up having very similar. Top <laughs> yeah, five. and then we'll just end up like crying. Yeah, exactly. Each other. And then, and then Bioshock like, Infinite went. Oh um, man. Um, yeah, I would say that. I think that's an interesting idea. Um, ooh, I've got. A See, Uncharted exam. 1, 2, 3, and 4 are all amazing games. It's one of my favorite series, the Arkham games. But it's still, like, basically the same game. I mean, but upgraded. I've got an example for you. That's Completely a good... Completely different game. Yes. Completely different game. Completely different. I mean, these two are completely different. There is... And I like that. Zero thing. similarity. But this is kind of a reskin of Grand Theft Auto in a way. But it's... Probably the best reskin you could ever. It is. It is. I mean, I'm, I'm. I'm. It's not really, but it is kind of. But um, it is a different game, and that's what I'm saying is that I don't want developers to be afraid to make a new thing. Well, I think video take games, us somewhere we haven't been. Like, I think video games are really well, but also you can look at. Um, are you talking about the game, or are you talking about the developer? 
Because if you look at the developers, then you can get a lot of variety, right? So Witcher 3 to Cyberpunk 2077, there's going to be a huge jump in... Um, I mean, series least, then. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. that's the thing. I mean, I, maybe that's a good distinction you can make, like developer or... Um, I don't follow developers that much. I don't I really... Do. Yeah, I, I don't know. You, and that's, it's, I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to know why. Um, for me, it's actually that exact reason. So I guess it would be like following a director. Kind of. So, See, that's what I'm saying. It's not like following. It's not like an auteur. <laughs> Wow, the um, auteur theory. Well, actually, no. I would disagree with you. Suda Fifty One is a really he's an auteur. So is Kojima. Yeah, they um, are directors. He's, he's a really uh, excellent storyteller, and it's all very abstract. But and I am trying to like collect all of his games. Um, Did he do No More Heroes? Um, that's a great question. I think he did No More Heroes. I think he did too, but I'm not 100% on that. Those are great. But I am trying to collect all of his games simply because I feel like there is a continuous thread there. Yeah. Like, for example, Platinum Games. Platinum Games have done games like Vanquish, but they've also done Bayonetta. Um, they've also done, you know, if you want to go back, like uh, Beautiful Joe here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so, I mean, yeah. Are the sequel? Do the sequels need to be completely reinvented, or do you follow? Do you follow the directors or the the game designers or things like this? Because then it gets very interesting. Because Killer Seven to Killer Is Dead by Suda Fifty One to Shadow of the Damned. I mean, there is a huge variety to Lollipop Chainsaw. Mm -hmm. um, they're all developed by all directed by excuse me the same guy yeah. Suda Fifty One, which is pretty nuts, you know. I guess I mean. Um yeah, I, I do mean um, within a actual what's the word? I'm yeah, yeah, within a franchise. Franchise. Yeah, I agree with you there. Well, and, and I think too, you know, one of the problems. You're afraid. Yes, once you're once you're successful, if you make a sequel, it's got to be a very similar experience, just expounded upon. Sometimes changes hurt a franchise. Metroid Other M, which I actually really thought was a good game. But everyone hates it, and they'll it kind of has put the Metroid franchise in limbo now. I don't know if it did, but it definitely. Well, didn't it, they happen. haven't made one in like ten years, which yeah, isn't yeah. necessarily. I mean, that's yeah. the ten. But after it was right off the heels of Prime One, Two, and Three, and then Prime like One, Two, and Three re, uh, HD or not HD, the Wii version, and. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I think, too, in that example, Nintendo is the one that really abandoned that franchise. Yeah, um, yeah. Because even Other M, Nintendo did all the scripting. Yeah, but Other M was hated it. If it was, yeah. if it was bigger, they would have made a sequel. Yeah, well, what I mean, though, is that many of the flaws that people have pointed out for the game, it's not in the combat. It's in the storytelling. Yeah, but people, for some reason, hate the combat, too. I don't know. And they huh. hate the story, which is, it wasn't that bad. Um, I think that it, having Samus talk that much was kind of ridiculous. I want to play it um, only because Team Ninja developed it, it's, and I'm a huge good. Team Ninja fanboy. I love Team Ninja stuff. Yeah. I think it's always good. You'll like it because um, it's good. It's a good game. It's like when people say, oh, that movie was bad. It's like, was it really that bad? And it's like, no. Batman vs. Superman wasn't like a bad movie. Well, <laughs> I, I think in, in the example of video games... It wasn't games, like Plan 9 from Outer Space. It wasn't like a badly made movie. I think in the example of video games, I, one of the really, that is a really interesting question, though, because why don't um, games take a bigger risk? Because even like when you take the Assassin's Creed Black Flag example, well, a lot of that combat was already there in Assassin's Creed 3, and then they just fleshed it out. You but know? they did so much more variety. They did more things, you know? Can Which you great. expand up? Oh, the, the ship making. Yeah, yeah. The, the, um, the core idea. Diving and stuff. That wasn't in the other games. Yeah, but the know? core idea was already started in Assassin's Creed 3. Oh, yeah. I mean, Assassin's Creed 1. Oh, yeah, yeah. The ship, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was, yeah. So, like, basically the, the best part of, um, of Assassin's Creed Black Flag had already been planted. And I think, sure. actually, in, in a weird way, Assassin's Creed Unity... And Syndicate, which neither I've played, but I've heard a lot of um, people complain about them. They, they're, they're okay. They're, they have... Um, they're good. 
been the first original games in a long time. No, they're, they're actually... They're, well, yeah. Yeah, they're fairly similar, though. If, well, you, if you played the others, you'll play, you've played these. Well, they also stripped away mechanics, though. This is the first time that they didn't completely keep going and, like, you know, just kept going, like, hey, you're in France, now you can, you know. Yeah, they just reskinned it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not a reskin. I mean, they are new games. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. and those games are widely panned yeah. as well. So, you know, I feel like... There's not much reward. Well, actually, they're not widely panned. Like game, even GameSpot has it like a nine out of ten for for, for Syndicate. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I really it actually got really good reviews. Interesting. I really want to play both of those games. I have. They're, a copy they're of good movie. games. Like and and like three and just like the the one in the French Revolution. Um, Red. It's like those. Yeah. It's like those. Oh are no! Good. Excuse me. Unity. Unity. Unity is the one in the Revolution. And it's like excuse me. those are good games. It's just that you know if. If you if you hadn't played the other Assassin's Creed games, you wouldn't. I hated three for one reason. I was very excited to be a Native American and kill white people, and I didn't get my chance. Wait, Connor was not a fun character at all. Yeah, well, that's the thing, but because he looked awesome, like oh, he looked yeah. amazing. I with was the American so flag behind him, and I was like, yeah. I was so pumped about that time period, and it was it, and it, it was, was a. Massive letdown, but it was it's still a well made game. Oh, like absolutely, it really is. absolutely, yeah. and no, it's not no. a bad game. It's the story. If it was the first one that came out, we'd be like blown away. It's you the know? story. It's, yeah. it's the story. Um, and it's it real a, slow start. Real. Yeah, it takes hours to get into the game. As a protagonist, I just found him to be unexciting. Yeah, like he just. There was I didn't ever give a fuck about him as a person, and I was so excited because I was like, "Oh shit!" Like finally, Native American, mm -hmm. like Assassin's Creed. Let's get it. Seventeen seventy six. American Revolution. Yeah. Dude. Like let's go. Mm -hmm. And um, I do think that the biggest problem is that French people made it, and therefore they don't understand America and what we stand for. It's America. Yeah. <laughs> It's not free, all right? The freedom is not free. Okay? It's a hefty fucking fee. Uh, well, yeah, I, 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 do, I do know what you mean. I, I definitely know what you mean. Um, but then also there are self-contained games um, that have nothing to do with each, other, with each other, like Persona. I mean, they're still new. Yeah, yes, yes. The Persona series always reinvents itself. Um, you also have uh, the Final Fantasy games. There's yeah. a lot of uh, There's a lot of variety. There. Yeah. But then there, there is risk there because, I mean, does anybody like 8 out there? There's huge fan base, but a huge fan base. Some people say it's the greatest of all time. Some people say it's the greatest story of all time. But I never got through it because I couldn't I stand the fucking can't battle system. Stand the junction and battle system, and you don't level up. I just, I'm like, what am I doing? And a big flaw a series that did take a turn was the Paper Mario series. Um, Paper Mario on the 3DS. It's the same thing. Like you don't level up, and it's the sticker star game. Oh yeah, and uh -huh. it's kind of like, uh, why are you? Why are we playing? Like I, I, I'm avoiding battles. Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's it's um when you take risks, you know, if it doesn't work, then go back to the original formula. Then. Yeah, it's hard. Sometimes it's they hard. don't. It's hard to know what to do. I mean, in a lot of cases, I think there's never any there's never any pleasing anyone really. Um, <laughs> but I think that there's a lot of games where we can um, go back and say, okay, you know, what were the missteps here, and um, is it still a good game? Because I think there are a lot of games out there that are fundamentally flawed that um, are fun still. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, yeah. I, I have a lot of fun with games that are broken as fuck. Oh yeah, it's like watching a bad movie. That's funny. Well, even then, though, like I have, I have a lot of fun with games where you're like, "That's completely unfair," and then you still are like, "I really like this game." Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, how did that happen? And, yeah, and it doesn't frustrate me more. I was just like, "Ah, this is a good game." Though. Yeah, but maybe I just have. <laughs> what would be an example of that? Um, I would say, uh, let's see, where is it? Amped, the Amp series. I really love this series. I can't see it uh, just offhand. Oh, here we go. Um, I love this series and I love this game in particular. Um, however, it's pseudo realistic snowboarding, and um, unfortunately, sometimes things happen in the game that just don't make any sense. Like, you're like, I absolutely nailed that landing. And then it'll be like, No, you didn't. You fell. No. Yeah, fuck you. Um, 
Uh, Ten eighty snowboarding. You played that? Oh God, I hate that game. No, hate on that game. Wait, on on the Nintendo sixty four. Sixty four because of the the swirling, all the swirling you have to do. 